tangled mess. Yeah, Hi, everyone. So, to, this week I'm going to be talking a little bit about extending your garden or even creating a new garden. So, I kind of started and I thought, oh, geez, I should be doing a video about this. Anyway, what I like to do is I know this is the hard way of doing it, but you'll uh, thank yourself in the long run. Um, I know lots of people build the garden boxes, just throw the soil over top and hope the grass just kind of stays there. It does eventually grow back. Uh, so what I like to do is, um, first cut away the grass to as big as you want the garden. So you don't chop the chicken's head off. They're coming here for the uh, worms. Kind of funny. No. And then. A couple of days to dry out um, and to kill off all the roots and I'll leave the edges and then once it's all dry this isn't dry yet because I just did it today uh, but just to show you then we knock off as much dirt as we possibly can because you don't want to give all your dirt away <sighs> hey girls how's it going uh, it comes off a lot easier if it's been dried for a few days Right now, so it's chickens lay them eggs for us so we can eat some pancakes. That's right. The chickens lay eggs for us so we can eat pancakes. And hard boiled eggs. And hard boiled eggs. And That's hard right. boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. And then I make sure to toss all the chicken roots, uh, sorry, chicken roots, we're talking about chickens here, grass roots. Um, and I throw it over the edge because we're slowly building up this area anyway, and that's where all our coarse compost goes. However, I just make sure, um, normally I make sure there's a lot more dirt gone. Throw it over the edge. And uh, it's also a really good idea if you have an existing ground garden that you do not have an edge for. Excuse me, little girl. Out of the way, foot, foot. Is to edge your entire garden every spring. And uh, what we do is you can line it with that garden carpet stuff. We tried that one year. It was not awesome. So what we do is we line it with cardboard every spring. Like we trim back just to make sure like the weeds are not growing in. It's a bit, it's a bit work. Um, and then we line it with cardboard and push the dirt back in. And uh, actually I'm gonna go get some cardboard just to show you what that looks like. And that really helps uh, because weeds really grow in January, sorry January, definitely not January. June and July. So if you're able to um, hold the weeds back between June and July, they don't creep in as much in August. And then the cardboard just disintegrates and turns into the rest of the garden. Uh, and then the next spring we do it again. I found that with that carpet stuff that you can buy, that liner, um, the weeds just grow right through it. And it gets stuck in the tillers and it's like hard. It gets like, it's just, I didn't like it myself. Um, but to each their own. Uh, alternatively, you can, if you know that your garden is at the exact spot that you want, it's not getting any bigger, any smaller, like it is okay to build like uh, some kind of barrier all the way around. Uh, some people use bricks, other people use um, cedar lumber. Try not to do treated lumber though, because you really don't want all those extra chemicals in there from the treated lumber. Um, I don't mind the extra work myself. It's a, it's a free workout. I don't need to go to the gym. Um, and uh, yeah, then like this year, I'm extending this garden a foot out this way and I'm extending it a foot out this way so that I can get an extra, like it'll be work out to about 20 square feet, which is, you know, like anywhere between 15 to 20 extra plants. And it's not that much bigger. So every year I try to do it a little bit bigger. Uh, and this is gonna be my fall garden. And that way I'm not tasked with like creating a huge extra garden. It's just a little uh... bit bigger every year. I'll go get the cardboard now. I'm going to pause this and come back. Okay. So, I went and I got an X-Acto knife, some cardboard. I try to use cardboard that hasn't been dyed too much. Um, and I still have some weeds in here, which I will address. I just uh, very quickly shoveled away the dirt from the back of the garden here just to show you. And I'm only going to line a little bit because I really, really like to uh, 
move all the dirt away and then leave it for a week so that it can dry out and kill off these roots. But just to show you a little spot, a little bit of it. Um, so you don't need much because the roots actually are just in the first six inches. Uh, so I usually go like six to eight inches worth of cardboard. I just take it. Put it, line it so just a little bit above, just about two inches above, it will decay and then back fill it back up and you're done. But again, I do this later on and like after it's been dried out for a, at least a week. But now that I have all this stuff here, I might as well get her done. This part, anyway, the corner. The shovel, no chickens. To, oh, don't cover my garlic there, okay, sweetheart? Try not to. There, stick that in. Backfill that. It's not gonna keep all your weeds away. Definitely will not keep all your weeds away. But it will help immensely, and I mean immensely, and the, uh, the weeds growing in from outside of the garden in, especially in June and July. Hear me. I like to do the colored sides out, just in case. You just never know. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do right now because I really want to let the other stuff dry. Blade is in. And we're just going to backfill it now. of the weeds if you see them take them out because they will turn into a plant some of these weeds they're, they're they've evolved into such like amazing plants themselves um, and even the smallest little root can regenerate just a piece of a root can regenerate into a whole new plant so I like to take them all out as much as I can find anyway hey girls watch out shovels are dangerous for chicken heads anyway. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, is if you're actually just like starting brand new in a garden, like after you've done your perimeter, tossed all the dirt upside down, shaken out the roots in the mud and done this, um, or even before you've shaken out all the roots after you've tossed it around, put a tarp over top of your area and layer, like put some rocks and stuff so it doesn't blow away. Especially if you have a couple of really hot days coming up because the sun will really help kill off all of those, uh, all the weeds, the grass roots and everything. Um, well, I wouldn't even just for a couple days, I'd leave it for a good week or two. And then when you uh, take the tarp off, shake off all those roots and your, uh, your roots will be killed off a lot quicker um, and more effectively as well. Got mud on her nose and be her toes, hair's a tangled mess with